Hi guys! So good AM. Currently it's 6.30 and I'm getting ready to go to school. I have lessons at 8.30 AM and I'm having cereal for breakfast. I'll be doing my makeup in a bit so see you guys then. Hi guys, right now I'm doing my makeup. It's currently 7.02 and I'm putting my very first step which is an ampoule on my face. So this is by Manu. So the reason why I put like an ampoule on my face is to prep my skin before any actual makeup application. So And let's rub it in. This gives my skin a protective layer whenever I put on makeup above it. So it protects my skin from any harmful ingredients. Not saying that any product that I've been using is bad for my skin. It's just an extra uh, measure that I take to protect my skin. See the glow it gives. Okay, so for step 2, it is the beauty of Joseon sunscreen. So I always put sunscreen as my second step. Okay, there's like a label I have yet to remove. And let me just do that. Okay, finally got it. Let me squeeze some at the back of my hand. Okay, there's the consistency. I definitely need a little more. Okay, let's try out this mount. This is the first time I'm trying out this. So how is it gonna um, be like on my skin because I'm afraid I might separate my makeup but let's try and I'll rub it on my nose and your I look a little funny okay let's do okay so far it's blending to my skin really nicely And it looks really nice. It doesn't have like a white cast. It doesn't have a white cast unlike some of the sunscreens that I used before. That makes me look really pale and pasty after like applying it. So okay, let me blend this quickly. is the finished look on my face. The remaining one I will usually like apply it around my neck area because I like, usually like the clothes that I wear to expose my skin around the area. So just rub it in. And that is for step two. Okay, so for my third step, I'll be using my Fenty Beauty Primer to prep my skin before I put on my concealer. So usually like two pumps is enough. So just like that. So I'll just figure out how to put it on my skin. Like that. A little bit more here. 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 how we are looking at the moment. This is a very hydrating primer. It doesn't dry out my skin so it really um, doesn't like make my makeup like very dry after applying and it also doesn't make it look very cakey and my makeup won't crack and that's like a very very good thing because Singapore is really hot so this is like one of the best primers I've used so far. The one that I used before this was the Pro Professional Primer. It's really good but it's really pricey so this is, I think this is a way better investment and you get more product. So let's blend, 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 blend. Let me look. Let me blend it up a little bit more. 
because I'm filming so I cannot really see unless I use my camera unless I use my mirror I mean so okay I think this is the best that we are going to do and let's move on to concealer Alright, so for concealer, I'll be using my Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer. This has um, skincare benefits inside, so it's really really good and it's very hydrating. So it's not too dry, it's like the original formula that is very like thick and cakey. So just a little bit will do actually. So it's just like one swipe application. applying my concealer this is how we are looking and i'll be blending up with my beauty blender so i'll be using my true cool for school beauty blender it looks ratchety right now like raggedy ratchet but it's something that i use every day okay so let's get to blending automatically brightens this side of my face and conceals my eye bags way better I'm more of like a concealer girly I mean like if I were to do a full face then I would include a uh, foundation right after primer but today we have a very long day and I do not want any like heavy makeup on my face as I will be working out later in the evening so I think this is the look that we are going for a bit more natural just concealer and some blush setting powder and a little eyeliner so so this is what we have for concealer let's move on to blush Okay guys, so now blush time. I don't know what the hell happened to my blush, but it sort of spilled like everywhere. So I gotta be extra careful <laughs> when using it, oh dear. Okay. So, I'll just like take a little bit and do a cheek swipe here and here. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Blend it out using my favorite brush. So it's this one from LA Colors. I don't have to clean my fingers after this because I got some blush on my finger. So the blush shade I'm using is Encourage from Rare Beauty. It's a really really nice color and it's very natural. So I usually don't apply a lot. And because if I do, it's gonna be very heavy on me. Which is my mistake that I've been doing for the past few weeks of like wearing this blush. So yeah. This blush gives me a very natural glow. It looks like I'm just blushing from inside out. So yeah, so this is the end of blush and let's move on to setting powder. Okay guys, so for setting powder, I'll be using my 3CE setting powder in the shade number 1. So it's like the lighter shade in their collection. So I'll be using this powder puff to be getting the nooks and crevices of my makeup like underneath my eye. It's already set at one side of my face which is around here. And you can see it's a little bit more matte. And my makeup doesn't um, crack throughout the day and it lasts pretty long actually. And I think it's also because of the setting spray I'll be using after that helps in like setting my face the entire day. So I just like to shake it a little bit and then like tap into my skin. So this is my definition of like very natural makeup for throughout the day. So it's not that um, heavy or cakey. I'm not spending all these money for 
So check my mirror to see if it's like all blended out. Play around with chin, still needs a little bit of blending. So my face is set, and now let's move on to um, my eyes. Okay, so I've just done my double eyelid tape off camera. So it looks much better than me stressing over like putting it on video. So right now it's time for eyeliner. So the eyeliner that I always use is the Heroin Make Eyeliner. I don't know which one is this though. It's in this packaging that is like the pink to go transition one and it's super waterproof i've cried in this and it's still there this is a very slick and so i usually shake it first before applying to my eyes So this is one eye with my eyeliner. And I'll do the other eye. So this is my eyeliner all complete. I'll definitely touch it up again, but this is how it's looking like so far. And let's move on to my eyebrows. Alright, so I just touched up my eyeliner and it looks more uniform now. And I just realized that there was like a lot of like random like I think concealer that I was stuck onto my mirror. But it's okay, I cleaned it. So now it's time for eyebrows. So I'm just gonna spool it through my brows first. Even though I already got them like done, uh, like microbladed, I guess what's your, that's what you call it. But I would like to darken it a little bit just to give it some shape. Cause after like a month of doing it, you tend to like slowly fade away in color. So I would just like fill in the ends a little bit. go and touch it up very soon it's just that i do not have the time so when i find the time to do so then i will go and do it so yeah Alright, so this is my brows and I think it looks perfect. Not too much and not too little. Alright, so let's move on to some highlighters. So I'm using the Too Cool For School Art Class palette. So they have three things like highlighter, blush and contour. I'm not going to use contour. So I'm just going to use the highlighter and just highlight the cheeks. The high points on my cheeks. Just like that. Glowing. Wow, oh, it's actually really nice. Like this and like this. Alright, and now let's move on to gloss. So the gloss I'll be using today is the Fenty Heat Gloss in the shade Fenty Glow. Let's do this. So this is supposed to give me a lip plumping effect. Well, 
set that set. I'll be using my 3CE Shimmer Makeup Fix. So this is actually like a setting spray slash makeup fix. So it helps to melt down the makeup that is unblended well. Soft the shade you can see. It's so beautiful. So pearly and iridescent. I like to spray a lot, but yeah. This is my completed makeup look. So right now, let's move on to the outfit. So this is the fit of today. So it's just long flare pants and then like a tank top. And then I brought an extra shirt to change when I go to work out. And I go to the gym, so. Alright, so I have this hair product with me, which is my L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil. Hair oil, so I usually like do two to three pounds, and then like lather it through my hair before I leave home. It's my way of styling my hair and not make my hair just dry. So I'm finishing off my look with my favorite Victoria's Secret scent. 